everybody. I'm Kason over at iSolids 3D Printing, and I uh, hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. I know we definitely did, having some nice time off. Uh, but I did um, come into the shop this morning and unfortunately realized that we had a little bit of an issue with our power. And so it reminded me that I've had a question quite a bit over on our YouTube channel, um, and this was a good opportunity to answer that question. And that, that question is, how much power do we typically consume as a, as a fairly large 3D print farm that also has industrial 3D printers? Um, and so, yeah, let me just jump straight into that. I guess, first of all, to answer that question, I gotta kind of show you what it is that we have and what kind of power we use. So I'm gonna flip the camera around. So there's two sides, and the first side is, first of all, please ignore the mess, you know, as when the power went out, we just kind of jumped on some other things that we could do without power. Um, so the first side is the industrial equipment. Uh, so obviously it uses quite a bit of power, but it's a little bit different than the type of power required for the 3D print farm. This typically uses 208 volt or 480 volt, depending on where you are, what kind of power you use. Uh, in our case, we are running 208 volts to these uh, larger multi-jet machines. Um, and they consume, uh, or they use breakers sized anywhere between 60 amps to 100 amps, depending on which type of machine it is. So um, big machines, they consume a lot of energy trying to heat up and sustain the heat on the printers, and it's a uh, higher voltage. As we shift over to the print farm, it's a little bit different story in that um, uses standard single phase 110 outlets that any typical household would have. Um, only difference is there's just a lot of them. So in this case, each one of these printers on average is around 300 to 350 watts, which is about the size of a, of a normal desktop computer. Um, you know, higher end computers can probably be around double or even triple that. So, um, the, really the story on this side though, is just the sheer quantity of what we have here. So each one of these 350 is like plugging in, you know, eight to 16 computers in a row. And obviously that would triple a lot of breakers really fast. So we have power distributed evenly across, um, I think upwards of 30 or 40 different circuits so that, uh, any one of these circuits can basically be maxed out. Uh, without having any safety or issues or tripping breakers. So definitely eerily quiet right now, which is not a good thing, but we hope to get back online here shortly. So kind of flipping back around and showing you a little bit about the power that we have coming into the building, which is three phase 480 volts. That comes into the back side of our building. Uh, it's 400 amps total coming to the entire complex and then it splits into 200 amp services. And we actually have two meters. This is just one side of that. So it's uh, definitely a lot more power than typically used to seeing in, in any household environment. Um, so if I flip back around, the situation that we're dealing with currently is out of that three phase, which is more commercial grade power, you know, a lot of household residents are just single phase. Out of that three phase power, we lost one leg. So when we came in, a lot of the equipment was struggling to stay on. Uh, basically, one third of the power was not available, depending on which leg it was on and how it was wired up in a lot of different circumstances. So um, good news is they were, the utility company was able to identify the issue very quickly. Um, bad news is it was a transformer they're going to have to replace to get that third leg back online. So without further ado, I'll kind of answer what is, it, what is the type of power that we do consume? Um, we consume on average around 40 to 50 times the amount of power as a typical household. Um, so that kind of gives you a sense of scale, but, uh, it's a lot is this place when all these machines are heated up, definitely generates a, a lot of heat and consumes a lot of electricity, but we also produce a lot of parts. So appreciate the question. Definitely trying to answer more and more as we go into 2023. Hopefully we'll get back online shortly and thanks for watching. Thank you.